Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? I thought we could get ready together and also have a little chat. I have been dying to do like a soft glam look and play with the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude eyeshadow palette again. And I also thought I could tell you guys the story of how we added another fur baby to our family unexpectedly, but he he was meant to be with us. So for my base today, I'm gonna start off with the e.l.f. sunscreen, the Woe Glow, just to add a little bit of SPF, and then I'm also going to be going in with the CC Plus Nude Glow from It Cosmetics, which also has some SPF in it. My son has soccer practice today, so I definitely need some protection from the sun. So this story starts actually last weekend, so I was hanging out with my sister and she was telling me a story about how her and my mom went to PetSmart and at the PetSmart near us, well, at a lot of PetSmarts, they have like little adoption setups where you can meet, mostly it's cats. I don't know that I've ever seen a dog, but they'll have cats in like these like little kennels. So like if you're going into PetSmart, you can see them and you can adopt them. And my parents are animal lovers for sure. Growing up, I had two cats and a dog for majority of my life and then he passed away and then they got another dog and he was the cutest black German Shepherd but he has also passed away since then. But anyways, now my parents have two cats and they have two dogs. Basically, their house is completely full of pets. I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Radiant in the shade 12N. And anyways, my mom and my sister went into PetSmart and there was a cat there that just like stole my mom's heart because he looked like a combination of our two cats that we had for a really, really long time that passed away. And my mom and my sister and I, we all have the matching tattoo with their tails. Like they were, they were our babies. She saw this cat and she fell in love and she was playing with him for so long and she even got my dad to agree to adopt him. But they ended up deciding not to because he seemed like he had been through some trauma. He was an owner surrender. And he was like super loving and purring and sweet uh, when they were petting him. But like, if you put your hand near him, he would like flinch. And like, it just seemed obvious that someone had not treated that cat with love. It upsets me when I think about it, but my parents just thought that like their household wouldn't be perfect for a cat like that because it probably would need a little bit more calmness. And they always, they have children, they have cats, dogs, grandchildren running around. So they just thought it was too chaotic, but um, my mom was really sad about it when they first told me I was like in my head I was like you are gonna get another cat. You are crazy But then I saw this cat in like the pictures and the videos they showed me and he was so beautiful He was so sweet. I was just like What a little baby so my partner saw the cat as well and he's like he's so cute like that's so sad and we kind of like kept moving on with the conversation and went about our day. And then the next day we were just like playing with our cats and I was like, I'm just so sad thinking about that other baby. Like, because our cats are so loved, like they are so sweet. They are obsessed with us. They're obsessed with getting attention. And like, I feel like that's the way it should be. Like cats are like the best creatures in the world. And I just feel like they deserve all the love and like the thought of someone mistreating their animal and then like them having trust issues and, it just makes me really sad. So we talked about it and we were like, okay, like how about we just go see this kitty cat and like feel it out, see, you know, like, is he gonna be scared? Or like, I was kind of worried, like, is he gonna be more scared of my partner because he is a man? And like, sometimes that does happen where like, if the abuse is from a certain gender, then like a, the cat or the dog will be more scared of that gender, you know? But I was pretty confident that it would be okay because my boyfriend, he just like has like a knack for animals, like even like pets that like just don't like people that much. He just has like a special connection with animals. Real quick, I went in with the Glowish Bronzer in the shade Soft Radiance and I'm going with the ColourPop Prairie Air Blush, but you guys know Amanda makeup just for fun. Her little doggy is actually not that fond of men in general. And she literally loves my boyfriend. Like every time we go over, she's just like all about it, sitting beside him. Like, I don't know, I just think it's so cute. So I thought that everything would be okay. But my boyfriend was definitely like, you know, don't get your hopes up. Like just cause we're gonna go see him doesn't mean we're gonna get him. We don't know how it's gonna go. He's also, you know, a year old. So we were also nervous about 
like how our cats would react and like would they be okay with an animal that's not a baby like I don't know I don't know but we did have some hesitations but basically we were just like let's go see him so we drove out to the pest mart that my mom saw him in and it was a little bit of a drive but when we got there he was gone. I was definitely sad about it. Like I was happy that he got adopted or like maybe got adopted, but I was like sad at the same time because I thought he like was so sweet and I just wanted to meet him. Um, so we were like, okay, like it just wasn't meant to be. We went back home and like I had mixed emotions, but overall like I was happy that he found a home. And then my mom and my sister texted me that they found him on the animal shelter's website and that he was not listed as adopted yet. So we were like, okay, should we just go to the shelter? We tried calling to see if he was still available because his page was still up on like multiple things. It was actually kind of a rare day because my son was in school, but my boyfriend did not have work that day. And so we were out already. We had a little breakfast date at one of my favorite breakfast restaurants. If you live near Fayetteville, I'm just throwing it out there, Mary Bill's. They literally have the most delicious pancakes I've ever had in my life. Like every time I get to go there, I'm so happy. Honestly, everything they make is delicious. I got distracted thinking about food, but basically we were already out on a date. We're like, let's just go to the shelter. We'll give them his ID number. We'll see what's up, see if he's there. Like we just really wanted to meet him so we went we started talking to one of the workers there and she's like I don't know this cat if it was in PetSmart I'm not sure exactly like let me look around but while we're looking around why don't you guys go into this room with all the cats and you know just feel them out see if there's any other cat that like grabs your attention um which like we weren't looking to get a cat like I mean, I know we were like looking at this cat, but we weren't like looking to get a cat. Do you know what I mean? So basically we went into the room and there were so many little kitties. We were kind of just walking around and we kind of separated. Like I went this way, my boyfriend went this way because there was like two rows of kitty kennels. And I was just like looking at all the babies and my boyfriend was like, look at this guy, look at this guy. And so I turn around and there's this cat and he is just freaking out, like doing the absolute most. He was like putting his head up against the kennel, like meowing, purring, just like so friendly. He was just starving for attention and he was so cute. You know, if you're a cat person, cats choose you. There's just like this like bond and like sometimes when you meet a cat, it's there and sometimes it's not. And with this cat, we were both immediately just like, oh my gosh, he's so sweet. And you guys, I just have to make fun of my boyfriend for a second and also like make a note of how people can change because when I met my boyfriend, he did not like cats. Like he just, I think he had like an experience with a cat when he was younger where it just like hid all the time and like that was all that it did. And I'm like, well, not all cats are like that. Like there's plenty of friendly cats and like I had the best cats ever growing up. I am like a cat lover through and through. When I got my cat Athena, she's almost two years old now. My boyfriend was like, are you sure you wanna do that? Like that's a huge commitment. Like cats are this, cats are that. Like he wasn't like being negative, but he just wasn't necessarily like about the idea, which was fine because I was like, well, I'm gonna do it regardless. Like we weren't living together or anything at the time. And then like, we're looking at some cats and he was like, you know what? Like if you wanna bring this cat to my apartment, sometimes when you stay over, that's fine. And that's where it started. And then Athena literally became his cat. Like she likes him more than me. She is obsessed with him. She acts like such a baby with him. And I think that's what started his love of cats is just that he has such a good bond with her. And so then when we went to get another cat because we felt like Athena was lonely, we got Aries and he's like the sweetest, most friendly baby, whatever. And my boyfriend is just like, we have the perfect cats. Like we don't need any more cats. Like we literally have the best duo ever. You guys, I'm literally looking at this mirror and like the paper's still on. I can't even see anything. Like what am I looking at? <laughs> But so we kind of like played with him for a minute and we were like, he's so sweet, but we're here for the other cat. Like that's what we came for. And so we put him back in the kennel and we went to walk away to go talk to the lady again who was working and see if she had found the other cat. And once we like closed the kennel, he just started stress crying immediately. 
and it just broke our hearts and we were like, oh my God. Actually, I guess I should go back and say that within like two minutes of meeting this cat, my boyfriend was like, come to daddy. We could take this cat home. And he's like, I didn't want to get a cat, but this cat, like he was the one who suggested it from the get go. He was immediately enamored. Um, and I thought he was such a cute kitty because Oh, I'll get into it in a second. I'll asking with the story. The other cat, we went and talked to the lady and she said that like, there must have just been a delay in the paperwork, but that he was adopted. And we're like, okay, like, thanks for letting us know. And we are like, I think we're interested in this cat, this cat over here. Like he just stole our hearts. And it's kind of funny because like, if there hadn't been a delay in the paperwork for the other cat, like we're grateful he got adopted. But if there hadn't been a delay, then we would not have gone to the shelter in the first place and we just kind of feel like it was meant to be. So we did end up adopting the kitten and he is so cute. I will bring him out here in a minute to you so you guys can meet him and see him. Um, right now I'm trying to like give him space and like let him acclimate to the house in time. And he's also like, he's met the other two cats, but they're not like, they're not super happy about it yet. Like I know they'll come around and like they didn't do bad. like. There was just like a little tiny bit of hissing and like a little sassiness, but nothing awful. But the cool thing about him is that when we saw him, I noticed that he had hair sticking out of his ears in a way that I just haven't seen before. And like, I'm not that familiar with cat breeds and like the different characteristics of every cat. I just don't really know. So I looked it up and I'm like, what types of cats have, um, I guess they're called like ear tufts, like the hair sticking out of their ears. And apparently it's only two types of cats. It's um, the main Coon and then it was some type of ragdoll, which between the two, he looks much more like a main Coon and he has uh, like really big paws and he has like the biggest fluffy tail. Like I just knew there was something different about him. I'm like, he has the fluffiest tail I've ever seen on a cat. He's probably definitely like some type of mix, but we think he does have Maine Coon in him, which will be interesting to see since those are literally the largest domestic house cat. We were looking at the DNA test for cats just to see like out of curiosity what he's got going on. But at the same time, I was like, it feels kind of silly to pay like more to figure out what he is than it costs to literally adopt him. But I'm sure we'll do it eventually. I know they're, they're super cool. My sister, she has two adopted dogs and they did the doggy DNA test on both of them. And there was a bunch of like health tests and everything that they learned about, which was cool. So I do want to do it eventually, but, but I mean, the most important thing to me with a cat is never how it looks. It's the personality and like that connection that you make. And he is just like the happiest cat. He's been purring nonstop. We gave him a bath when he got to our house because he definitely needed one. Like he was very, very dirty. And like, tell me what cat purrs while you are giving them a shower. I don't know about you guys, I've never had that experience before. There's a moment where he was near my other cat, Aries, and Aries hissed, and he was like, Row, and like, he made like the cutest little scared cry. He turned around and then he just started purring again. I don't know that I've ever seen a cat so happy to get attention, but I think it's just because like, he's very, very social and he was in a cage and it makes us sad, but we're like, we're obsessed. We're honestly obsessed. We're honestly those people, like the people that just talk about their pets all the time. But like, I just, that's who I am. I love them. I love them so much. I'm, I'm not even gonna apologize. Like I've used to be a hater, like not like a really bad hater, but like when people would talk about their animals, I was just like, okay, sure. But now I'm like, tell me everything and I'll tell you everything about mine. So I just did like a really simple kind of like gray soft look with the, I need a nude palette. And I really, really like how it turned out. I feel like I'm more focused on talking than anything else right now, but yeah, we are very happy. And we did not tell my son about the cat because we wanted it to be a surprise. We love surprises. Like that's our favorite thing. Like when we went to Puerto Rico, we did not tell him about it until we got to the airport. And I was like, how do you feel about flying on a plane today? Because I love to surprise him. So we like went to pick the cat up at the vet and I was like, oh, we just have a pickup order. And then it was like, it was a cat. And like, he realized what was happening before the cat came out. And he was just like sitting there smiling from cheek to cheek. And we're like, why are you so happy? Like, wh why are you smiling? And he's like, 
I think we're getting a cat or a dog. <laughs> and he was just super, super happy. And it was funny because in the past we've asked him like, you know, to participate in naming the pets. And he's just not that great of a pet namer. Like he, the first time he wanted to name Athena Towel, like Towel, that, that was the name he chose. This time around, we kind of already had a name picked out, but then he was like, I wanna name him Fuzzy Socks. And it actually does work because he has socks or well, he has like socks in the back and then the front is just like over his toes. He has like the little white, like little cap. It's just so, so cute. So we were like, okay, well that'd definitely be his nickname. We're gonna call him Fuzzy Socks as a nickname, but we decided to call him Cupid because we love the mythology theme are the cats as you can tell we've got athena we've got aries so we were looking online at all these different names and honestly it took a while to figure out what we wanted i thought there were so many cute like girl mythological names like i really liked the name echo because i thought it was super cool and it has a cool story but we ended up deciding to go with cupid which is the roman god of love and in the greek mythology that would be Eros, but we felt like Eros and Ares were too similar, like their father and son technically, <laughs> but we felt like it was too similar to like have to say both of their names like as pets. Like, it just didn't make sense, but, but we thought Cupid worked and it also like made sense because, you know, the whole idea of Cupid and like him being able to make people fall in love with just like a shot to the heart, the end. Although I read a story the other day, apparently he could do the opposite too. He could make people be repulsed by someone else, like the opposite of love, which I thought, I don't know, I thought that was funny and very chaotic. Um, she's most so energy, but, but I mean, he made us fall in love with him immediately. Like that's what he did. So Cupid works. We do feel a little crazy. We're like four pets, That that is a lot, that is our limit. But at the same time, our pets bring us so much joy is it giving hot soccer mom? Cause that's what I'm going for. Okay, I'm just gonna finish off with the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Opal. So you guys should let me know if you have done the cat DNA test because I'm so curious. I was looking at, I think wisdom panel, but I'm just not 100% sure yet. So this is the finished look. I really like how it turned out. I did go in with the uh, Natasha Nona Super Glow Highlighter on my cheeks. I went in with the KVD Beauty Full Sleeve Mascara, which is super, super nice. The Sydney Grace Brow Palette in the shade Blonde. Okay, enough talking about makeup. Let me grab that kitty cat. Okay, you guys, meet Cupid. This is him. He was purring, but there's a lot of lights in here, right? And there's also two cats that are staring at him like, what are you doing in my house? You guys, look at this tail. It is so fluffy. You're purring so loud, baby. Huh? Why are you so cute? All right, you guys, so that is gonna be everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.